Hello, dear ones. It's Alice. I'm of the stars. Um, I wanted to talk a little about a sorcery event that happened to me yesterday. I was the victim. And uh, just in case it's happening to you as well, because it could be a well-known sorcery amongst the black mag magicians. And uh, the purpose of it is patriarchal domination, which is the way that the world has been tending in the last uh, bit of this long dark age that just passed. Um, and that is towards domination of the world by men and of women not having truly any say in the astral realm. Over and over again uh, since 2012, I have noticed um, married couples and significantly paired couples on the, on the as clear astral uh, hearing plane um, talking together and 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 in uh, subconsciously talking together and it's always the man in the relationship telling the woman what to do or say and and invariably in these situations the woman has no um, private voice of her own no no voice at all in the fourth dimension this is something that is changing now as women become aware of the fact that they have uh, ceded their free will to the men in their relationships. Um, they're becoming finally coming out of a kind of trance state where the man does everything and tells them to do everything. Uh, to me, it was pretty scary because um, I do believe in free will. I believe this is a free will planet, and I believe that all beings here have the right to free will. And so here I have been observing for some years now that about half of the human beings on Earth, all the women, apparently uh, have no voice whatsoever in the emotional realm. So that's changing right now. And what is coming in during September, I feel, uh, it, it, although it may not be completed in September, uh, it has to do with total opening of the heart chakra and energization of the uh, human electromagnetic field. And that this will result, one of the results that will, will occur is that um, men and women will know how finally to relate to each other from a purely uh, um, unconditional love perspective. And this means not only that they will join together in both friendship and in more intimate relationships with the total energy of their hearts and that they will be able to withdraw that energy and balance back their hearts into, um, into the singular electromagnetic field configuration uh, whenever they want to. So um, they can be, two can be one or each can be one at, completely at free will. This is what's being worked on right now. I have to say that the energetics are rather spectacular in this build-up towards the um, September events that will be occurring, the light waves that will be coming in. And so getting back to what happened yesterday, there are some people, men, that I've been encountering on the astral plane for some years now that have a set a series of beliefs regarding women. Sometimes I think, in the past, I've tried to track these energy threads down. Sometimes I think they may be spiritual adepts from India or from the West who believe that, and they may be also Buddhists, certain Buddhists, who believe that um, the highest incarnation of a human being is to be a man and in male form. And the greatest expression of that incarnation is to be a man who has always incarnated on earth in male form. This leaves me out. My incarnations are about half and half. And that those of most people are about half and half. And so they look back, they have this power to look back at my past incarnations, and then they, they toss me out as like inferior to them. I do feel that in coming to the realm of duality from the far star systems, uh, our choice to have as broad a range of experience as possible is probably a very wise choice because then we know what it is to be the oppressor, the aggressor, the male, and we know what it is to be the oppressed, 
the uh, victim, the woman. Okay, so that we be, become more wise in the in the in the realm of of duality. We begin to make choices so that we won't be neither the aggressor nor the victim. That we will be able to stand in unconditional love, even in this harsh realm. My point of view is very different from theirs in this regard. I do feel that their opinion that men are superior to women interferes with their spiritual attainment because it prevents them from treating women as if they were human beings. So the latest expression of this, this, this energy thread which has been morphing and changing, and I can't identify the people, that's the thing. It's, it's, it's kind of frustrating, but although I know God reveals all when the time comes, right? So it came up again and has come up many times in past. Uh, there's a black magic spell and it has to do with uh, using the powers of the natural world uh, to your own, like, egoic ends and to protect yourself. Well, of course, protection is good. But, but the thing is, we want protection without hurting other people, I feel. You know, I'm for the all, and I'm for free will. All beings everywhere. Free will for all. Happiness for all, and so forth. So... We can't have those principles. We can't without respecting all life. And we can't respect all life unless we allow, allow all beings to be happy. And the thing that causes us to be happy and to feel joy in the world is a widely open heart chakra. So that's, I'm giving you like background information on my point of view about this because the spell involves, um, have you ever seen that, those pictures of Gulliver's travels where Gulliver is like this giant sort of regular sized guy and then there are all these tiny little people that are throwing ropes over and around his prone lying down form and have pegged him to the ground, right? So so the ropes look like spider web webs really on Gulliver because compared to these tiny little people in the Lilliputton realm, he's like really huge, although he's really just a regular sized person. Right, and it's like this. That's what the that's what this black magic spell is like. It's like um, um, the nature spirits, while a person is sleep, a woman is sleeping, are being employed to like stitch little tiny gossamer ropes all over her heart chakra to like stop it from expanding. Okay, that's the first part of that. It's like a a net of of um, stitchery which may be thought forms that are holding the heart closed and preventing it from, from spreading energy all over the electromagnetic field. Uh, very bad spell. And the second part of that spell is lifting the tailbone up. It's lifting the body off of the earth. It's pulling the body up, uh, the astral form up out of the um, physical body and that's done by repeated like uh, commands and uh, to the subconscious um, um, the lower mental body of the person in question a woman okay pulling her up pulling her tailbone up they say pulling her pulling her tailbone up pulling and that that prevents the complete like fullness of the of the astral body from interpenetrating those atoms from interpenetrating the physical. So it ungrounds a woman and it closes down her heart. That's this spell, two part spell. And that's a spell that I woke up in this in yesterday afternoon after a nap. And so the thing to do immediately that you notice that uh, you have several options. You can go for a run on the physical plane. That opens up your heart and breaks these spells. If you're not able to run, you can do kundalini yoga. That courses the energy up and clears all of the chakras, such as satkriya, which I've mentioned in prior blogs. Uh, the other thing that can be done is simply to optimize the timelines. This is the simplest thing. A lot of people just don't believe that it's true, and so they don't try it, but it it's immediately effective. Optimizing the timelines, you go um, spirit to team, optimize timelines for the all through free will with great determination and joy, jubilation, do that and everything just goes away. All those, all those bad spells go away.
So the other thing that I found, I woke up, it had been, I'd fallen asleep under purportedly um, a healing session with a, with a, uh, a man who is, who is a great healer. And I could feel like all my chakras being rebalanced and like that. I, so I thought, fine, it's, it's safe to take a nap. So I took a little nap and when I woke up, all this Lilliputton thing was going on and like that. And it seemed to me that a black magician had stepped into uh, to, to change my energy field after the healer had stepped out most unfortunate, right? And the other thing I heard is uh, this person, this like imitation person, I said, why did you do this? Why did you, why did you uh, try to shut down my heart? Why did you try to unground me? He said, we, we want to bind you down to the earth. And I'm going, this can't be good. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, why is that? Why did you try to do that? And he said, we found out that your sole purpose is to destroy the sole purpose of all human beings on earth. And I'm going, say what? <laughs> Repeat that? <laughs> it's like, you know, okay, just in case, you know, I go, spirit to team, um, optimize sole purpose for the all through free will. <laughs> <laughs> so, so if you find yourself in that bind of being uh, like judged, judged very harshly as a person who is the anti-Christ or the anti-humankind um, uh, person or like that, just do whatever it takes with your team to make an adjustment in that realm. We can't make other people believe that we're human as women, okay? We can't make the men believe that. But we ourselves can keep our hearts open no matter what they're thinking. And the good thing is, now in September and in the months that follow, it seems to me, it appears to me through intuition, that what will be changing is this attitude of men. This attitude of men that women are evil, uh, like uh, Lilith's people, that they, the legend of Lilith, or that they are inferior uh, and that they drag men's spirituality down through their sex unbridled sexuality or the feeling that they are um, that they are simply objects and not really people at all something for men to manipulate in uh, in their game of life in their game of competition with each other joyful competition another thing that will be changing coming up right after that is women's notion that other women are competition for them. So that women can, after that, after this clearing happens for them, they can join together in joyful celebration of sisterhood. That's going to be great. So, uh, so we'll, welcome to the fireworks. Y'all take care. I'll talk to you later. Love you lots.